you love the feeling of being renewed. To protect the things most precious to you. To stay beautiful every single day. To breathe just like we do because you are truly delicate. Protecting the ones who've been with us through the years with Sailac Care, the only wood coating that truly protects you. Sailac Wood Coatings from Jet. Welcome to LMG Newsweek, I'm Ashwini Nelakan and we begin with a roundup of local news. As of this week, the number of COVID-19 infected patients in Sri Lanka has surpassed 119,424 with the number of recoveries reaching 100,885 and the total number of deaths now stands at 745. At a media briefing, the Defence Secretary said that the Cabinet has approved the extension of a lifetime salary and allowance payment for the dependents of war heroes. This move would benefit 30,000 dependent families of those who served the tri forces. The special task force arrested a suspect in Kilanochi along with counterfeit currency worth 800,000 rupees. The 43-year-old suspect was to be produced before the Kilanochi magistrate's court. The co-cabinet spokesman and plantations minister has said that the cabinet has approved the declaration for an annual road safety week from this year onwards to draw special attention towards minimizing the number of motor accidents. The National Council for Road Safety has decided to commence the road safety week from the 21st of November. The Sri Lanka Air Force hopes to procure four Mi-17 helicopters under the Russian military credit facility. Courtesy of years worth of negotiations that took place between the Russian and Sri Lankan governments, the SLAF expects to use these choppers for future peacekeeping operations. The National Operations Centre for Prevention of COVID-19 introduced a new hotline in case of any delays for the transportation of positive patients to treatment centres. The Army Commander General urges the public to call 1906 if there are any COVID-19 patients at home. 15 doses of the Sputnik V COVID-19 vaccine from Russia arrived into Sri Lanka last Tuesday. The State Minister of Production, Supply and Regulation of Pharmaceuticals officially accepted the consignment. The government intends to launch a mega drive to spray fertilizers using drones. For this purpose, a separate unit will be set up in each electoral district. The State Minister of Production and Supply of Fertilizer and Regulation of Chemical Fertilizers said that the first trial conducted last year in Panvilla, Gaul, was a success in where drones were used to spray organic fertilizer on paddy fields. Moving on to business news, the Sri Lanka tourism sector has attracted $188.4 million in investments for 29 projects over the last 18 months despite the downturn in tourism due to the pandemic. According to the Minister of Tourism, the approved projects included cable car developments, floating restaurants, underwater art galleries and other similar ventures. The High Commissioner of Pakistan in Sri Lanka has stated that both countries should seek joint venture opportunities together across high potential sectors to substantially boost economic cooperation. He said this at the 29th Annual General Meeting of the Sri Lanka-Pakistan Business Council of the Ceylon Chamber of Commerce where he presided as the chief guest. The Ministry of Health recently issued revised operational guidelines for banks and non-bank financial institutions to better prepare them to face the most recent outbreak of COVID-19. According to the new guidelines, these financial institutions are required to ensure good air circulation in all work areas and to leave doors and windows open where feasible. The Sri Lanka Embassy in Nepal, together with the Expo Development Board of Sri Lanka, hosted a webinar last Tuesday to connect around 100 construction industry stakeholders from both countries. The event discussed the potential to strengthen contacts, build partnerships and explore business and technical collaborations as well as joint ventures. The Cabinet of Ministers cleared the path to table the 2020 Annual Report of the Central Bank of Sri Lanka in the Parliament as per the provisions of the Monetary Act. 
The annual report must be submitted to the Parliament by the Minister of Finance within 14 days of its submission. Considering the spike in cybersecurity concerns during the pandemic due to alternative work arrangements, the Central Bank of Sri Lanka urges organisations to make this a matter of priority at the boardroom since the focus on information security seems to have reduced significantly in recent times. We'll be back after a short break with the latest in global and sports news. Thank you so much for all the support you gave me, guys. Okay. Today, I got promoted. <laughs> Those who spread goodness radiate happiness to everyone around them. Introducing LOLC Finance Credit Cards. Fuel the goodness in you. Welcome back and here's a roundup of global news. As of this week, the number of COVID-19 infected patients around the globe has surpassed 156 million, with the number of recoveries approaching 135 million while the total number of deaths now stands at 3.2 million. The International Energy Agency issued a warning stating that the climate crisis could worsen unless there is an increase in the supply of metals required to manufacture electric cards, solar panels, wind turbines and other clean energy technologies. The report also highlighted that the rise in demand for copper, lithium, nickel, cobalt and other rare elements are becoming vulnerable to price volatility. A software development company in Argentina has set the ideal example on how to treat employees. The firm, Ten Pines, strives to be transparent and democratic by allowing staff to set each other's salaries. New recruits too have the power to negotiate their own salary to a certain extent. Sri Lanka, let's keep note of this, shall we? Yahoo and AOL have yet again been sold as their former holding company, US telecom giant Verizon, failed to retrieve their fortunes. The two companies were sold to a private American equity firm, Apollo Global Management, in a deal worth $5 billion. Verizon will retain a 10% stake in the division following the transaction. Bill and Melinda Gates have announced the end of their 27-year marriage on Monday, shocking the business and philanthropic world. Coincidentally, the two attorneys on the opposing sides of the Gates divorce case also represented the opposing sides in the 2019 divorce of Amazon founder Jeff Bezos and his ex-wife Mackenzie Scott. Figures from the Bank of England indicate that UK homeowners have borrowed a record £11.8 billion more on mortgages than they repaid in March. This effectively makes it the highest net borrowing level for any month since the comparable data began in 1993. We have come across a mysterious facial recognition search engine that has certainly been keeping an eye on you. Once your image is uploaded on PIM Eyes, it will show all the images of you circulating on the internet and some may even surprise or horrify you. This is open to anyone with internet access and that's the problem. The Duchess of Sussex, Meghan Markle, is set to publish a children's book on father-son relationships as seen through the eyes of mothers. The book, inspired by her husband Harry and son Archie, is titled The Bench and will be published on the 8th of June. In the gaming community, Sony is set to integrate the popular online chat platform Discord to its PlayStation network by 2022. The electronics giant has invested in the app and now holds a minority stake in the company. Wrapping things up, we look at the world of sports. Praveen Jai Vikrama became the first player in three decades to register two five-wicket hauls in his debut game. The 22-year-old left-arm spinner took Sri Lanka to a 209-run victory against Bangladesh, effectively sealing the series' victory of 1-0 by taking 5 for 86 and 6 for 92 in both the first and second innings respectively. The Board of Control for Cricket in India or the BCCI has indefinitely postponed the Indian Premier League 2021 last Monday after several players and support staff tested positive for COVID-19. The Cabinet of Ministers have approved the proposal of the Minister of Youth and Sports Nama Rajapaksha to establish 500 outdoor container gyms island-wide. This move hopes to inculcate an active lifestyle among the youth and intends to be a catalyst for progress in the field of sports. Pakistan became the latest cricketing nation to formalize a support policy for parents. Players from the women's team are entitled to a transfer to a non-playing role until the start of their paternity leave followed by a 12-month paid maternity leave 
and a guaranteed contract extension for the following year. Male players are entitled to up to 30 days of paid leave. Two goals from Lionel Messi helped Barcelona to a vital 3-2 victory over Valencia and to stay within touching distance of the top of La Liga. There are now just two points separating Atletico Madrid, Real Madrid and Barcelona which faces Atletico on Saturday. And that's all the news we have for you this week. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Thank you for watching and stay safe.